Welcome to Divine Angel Wisdom. I am here today with another reading for uh, Virgo women. Thank you for joining. Namaste. Let's get going. So, we have she who doubts. Somebody is doubting. You have fear, weariness, trust. That shows uh, she who yearns. Desiree. Angel, the angel Desiree says yearn. So, one of you Virgo goddesses are yearning, uh, longing, or uh, pining for. Okay. situations. Primavera, she who begins. Hmm. So let's break this down, shall we? Somebody is doubting. We're going to get to it. We're going to see who it is. You're doubting, friends. What are you doubting about? Let us see. One moment. Let me, let me just get some things going here. I just turned on because somebody is waiting to hear from me. what's going on with you are you feeling good how are you on this valentine's for those who celebrate it how are you did anybody get anything that they wanted <laughs> from their loved one I didn't, I got some flowers from my uh, stepfather. He came and brought uh, my pa lady patients and I uh, flowers. They got flowers and chocolate and I just got uh, three roses and some tulips. It's nice. The thoughts that count. So we're in Aries, okay? And um, we're in Aries. How you doing? We're in Aries today <laughs> for February 14th. Um, so So the current moon is in Aries. The feeling of uncertainty can make you solve uh, problems faster than is natural. Do not rush as if there was a deadline. Um, try to slow down so that you can decide what you want to do and proceed at your own comfortable pace. Um, Organs that's influencing uh, Aries moon sign will be your head, teeth, tongue, straighted muscles, uh, P, 
penis, gallbladder, arteries, and your blood. Okay, so you want to uh, take special care of these things. Folks like they detox, and I hear celery juice is good for the blood and cholesterol. You might want to try that out. <laughs> um, also, let's see. Surgical operations are not recommended during the moon sign of Aries, okay? So you don't want to do that. But, okay, let's go. Let's go, let's see. I like to show you guys the cards. Okay. And uh, I will put them up because I know the light is glaring on the cards. Uh, you know, probably you can see it. So I'm going to try to bring it down so you guys can see. Okay, so we have Enid, the one uh, who has fear and weariness. And um, Enid is is um, about learning how to let go of mistrust, okay? Some of y'all need to let go of mistrust. Um, some of you guys might have scars, both visible and invisible, that have held uh, you back from living fully. Some of you guys carry, uh, carry an ornate emerald pendant which is said to promote the truth which is a good thing you know any crystals is is a good thing to uh, have on okay you want to ask yourself who or what am i hiding from while you're having this fear with weariness and mistrust uh how do my fears limit me um, where do I need to place my trust? Okay, my Virgo goddesses. Uh, also, the the Enig. She is. Uh, she's also communicating to you guys in this card by t saying. Uh, you should examine your own doubts. Okay. We all have been injured by life in one way or another. If we continue to, um, if we continue to hide in the shadows, then we allow those who did us injustices to win. Now is the time to let go of old misgivings and learn to trust again, okay? So weariness is not a bad thing unless you are uh, using it to give yourself permission to hide from life. Put on a trusty talisman. Slip your scarf from your ears so all your senses are engaged and trust in your own unique uh, power. And so we have Desiree here who is telling us, well, you better get it together. Desiree says you're longing for something, okay? Um, she's also saying commit fully to your wants or admit you were simply stuck in the mode of uh, pinning for what you cannot reach. Um, your energy also, Virgo goddesses, is at stake here. Um, Virgos, you, you will shed yourself of what you do not need in order to gain what it, it is you really want. Are you sh unsure of your yearning? Wishful thinking has its place, Virgos, but now is the time, is the moment to drive forward your goal or set the goal aside. Okay, the moon is reachable if you dedicate the uh, resources necessary okay my Virgos and also 
also um, you want to meditate and you want to change your diet as well I usually do smoothies you know but you can do what resonates with you okay um, also I urge you to get started whatever has been on your mind or in your heart this is the moment to begin commit to the journey ahead by facing the down the dawn okay excuse me the dawn <coughs> excuse me um virgos you are being called forth to set the match to the fuse okay you want to set the match to the fuse it's time to light things up and take the next bold step spread your wings and put a smile on your face as you greet the next good thing coming to your life like um this goddess here is doing open yourself to begin to beginnings okay you want to open yourself to beginnings it's time to actualize your potential right now okay so let us see Okay, so we have Concia. Concia, Virgos, is a saying that you, some of you guys are, have secrets or are dealing with somebody who's keeping secrets or have confessions, uh, a confidante, you know. Uh, perspective, defiant, persistent is going on in your reading. Persistent, defiant. Hmm. Yeah. So, whoever, um, Somebody, this is having to do with somebody that knows how to keep secrets. Um, you can't get anything from them. They're not going to open up and tell you anything. Um, this person is the quite quintessential vault who holds all the lies and all the truths of the world. Um, her smoky quartz headdress helps remove negative energy okay so she might be somebody with um, crystals on her head you know crystals on her period okay um, in fact it is said to transfer it into positive energy it is um, this person's role to hear all the confidences of all who come to her, okay? So, what this card is telling us is that all of us have secrets, okay? It may be time to release yours now, Virgo, if they have 
become a burden, my Virgo goddess. Some of y'all, you know, might be scared to confess to your friend, your uh, siblings about something. If you are concerned about being judged, look into your own heart first for compassion. Okay, sometimes we convince ourselves that our secrets are uniquely deep and dark. When we expose them to the light, we may discover others with the same fears. Okay, so if someone, uh, goddesses, has entrusted you with their secrets, honor their confidence. Okay, yeah, you want to honor their confidence because you want to be able, you know to go back and talk to them and tell them things. Especially if it's like somebody you trust. You know what I'm saying? And that's hard to come by. Trust me, I know. Mm -hmm. I know. And then we have this card here. We have this card, which reminds, um, you to take stock in your personal values and to ask yourself what you are willing to do to defend them. Nothing comes easily when uh, Jocelyn comes into our reading, okay? Uh, she who is um, persistent shows up. She challenges you to prove you are willing to put forth the effort for things you believe in. Owning your own power can be frightening, okay? Others may not stand beside you. You will persist anyway, okay? So you want to ask yourselves, what personal values are important to you right now? Um, are you prepared to face challenges, my Virgo goddesses? How can you own your own power? Okay, and like I said, meditation, crystals, okay. Changing your diet, eat more greens, do smoothies. Lay off some of the meat for a while, but you want to meditate and keep powerful crystals on you too to help you with your fasting in your meditation okay so therefore I am going to go and come back because my Virgo goddesses I have a part two for you okay in this reading so namaste Shemhuteku thank you for watching divine angel wisdom channel Thank you.